what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be discussing about the differences between a blockchain wallet and an exchange so let's get down to the business a blockchain wallet can simply be defined as anything where you hold the private keys anything where you hold the private keys is a blockchain wallet example of a blockchain wallet is exodus.io jax.io jaxx.io that's jax wavesplatform.com blockchain.com for bitcoin and ethereum holding my wallet.com these are the examples of a blockchain and you can check those website to open a blockchain wallet these are examples of a, blo a blockchain wallet and then a cryptocurrency exchange or cryptocurrency exchanges are marketplaces where you can exchange your cryptocurrency for another cryptocurrency by selling off the previous cryptocurrency you own at a present or a selected market price to buy another cryptocurrency that you desire to own example of a cryptocurrency exchange can be or is a binance.com bitrex bitrex.com coinbase.com poliniex.com there are a lot of them out there, but I've just mentioned the ones I've been using more frequently. Obipro.com, KuCoin.com. There are lots of them that you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many other cryptocurrencies for the coin you desire. A wallet can simply be used for the storage of cryptocurrencies. And it has high security and privacy. Coins are more safer in a wallet, and they are not subject to being delisted by any exchange rules or terms and conditions a wallet can store your coin as long as you want them to be there and a wallet is totally decentralized you own your private keys nobody can budge into your privacy and all that stuffs but one problem a wallet has that is different from an exchange is that you cannot trade on a wallet the wallet platform is not meant for trading while exchanges are meant for trading so that is the problem with wallets. You can only transfer your cryptocurrency from a wallet to an exchange where you can now do your cryptocurrency exchanges or trading. Exchanges are exclusively used for cryptocurrency trading, but you can also use it for holding your cryptocurrency just like you do in, in your wallet. And apart from holding a coin for the price to go up in, on an exchange, you can also use your coin to trade with other cryptocurrencies maybe by buying the deep and selling the high exchanges gives you a lot of cryptocurrency choices to buy and sell the disadvantage of an exchange is that it is not 100 percent decentralized because the support team of that exchange can always help you to retrieve your password which shows that they also have access to your password but you have to trust them anyway the coins you hold on an exchange can easily be delisted from trading and some bad exchanges may not even give you any warning before delisting those coins but you don't have to worry the exchanges I mentioned or recommended in these videos are very cool anyway so most exchanges do not have a decentralized server and subject to hacks attacks and malfunctions of server from criminals who can steal your password and move your phones but decentralized exchanges like Binance have decentralized servers distributed across the world, which, in which if there is any attack, they can always switch to the next server or malfunction. They can always switch to the next server and the data will be moved from this server to the next server and continuity will be there. So cryptocurrency investment is a risk. You have to always do your own research and analysis before you go into it and thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and you have learned the little the little i gave please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel check the end of this video for more information thank you very much my name remains empato